this is FX Battery Reviews. Today I would like to show you how to transfer FLAC FLAC audio files from your computer to your iOS device. Now uh, iOS devices play uh, default MP3 music files and the main disadvantage with uh, MP3 is its bitrate. Uh, MP3 files range from 128 uh, bitrates per second, kilobytes per second, uh, to 320 kilobytes per second at most, while looseless uh, FLAC uh, files uh, range from 600 kilobytes per second to 1400 kilobytes per second, which is an insane difference, an insane gap. Uh, now, the thing is, most people can't distinguish uh, the audio quality uh, in MP3 when it's encoded to 320 kilobytes per second. And for most audio, uh, it's okay. Uh, but if you like, for instance, jazz music or classical music, the bit kilobytes per second is uh, a very major factor. Now, sadly, uh, the Apple Music default, mu default Music Player cannot uh, play FLAC. Uh, FLAC definition. FLAC stands for Free Looseless Audio Codec. An audio format similar to MP3 but looseless, meaning that audio is compressed in FLAC without any loss in quality. Now, in order to be able to do so, there are many apps uh, on the App Store that allow you to transfer uh, many music formats from your computer to your device and playing on that native app. But I'm going to show you today an app called TuneShell. You can see it on my bottom right on the dock. And it's a free app. It has ads, but you can always pay like six bucks to get the full version. And there are many cool features on this app. I'm not going to review this app, of course. This is simply a, uh, a guide on how to transfer FLAC to your phone. In order to get TuneShell, you just enter the App Store, you search uh, in the search bar for TuneShell, and you tap on Get. You download the app, right? And once you have the app, uh, enter the app, and you're immediately going to see uh, on the bottom all these features which I'm not going to review again. Uh, the way to transfer FLAC from your computer to your device is on this app it's very simple. You basically tap on categories. You tap on Wi-Fi and you enable the FTP server. Now you see on your phone you see the following IP address and you type it on your web browser. Once you type it on your web browser you're gonna see this screen. You simply tap on Add Files and you go to Downloads uh, wherever you have your music files. For instance, I have an audio format, right? An audio file. And I'm gonna tap Open. You can also tap it once, all, you can select all the files at once if you uh, click uh, Tap Control A. Uh, I want just uh, one file specifically, so you select one file, you tap open. Now the computer is going to begin with the upload. It uploads very quickly. Uh, you can see it's already going pretty fast. Uh, and once it finishes, uh, you're going to see the file uh, appearing on your phone on, on the app, right? So. I'll let it finish. Right. When it finishes, uh, you tap done. Now, once you go uh, to your phone, I'm gonna uh, disable uh, the FTP server since we finished with the upload. You can find it uh, in music, right? So uh, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to search, and I should have the file right here. Now you're gonna see uh, the audio tracks, so I'm just gonna play it for an example. Now if you tap on the top uh, information 
button, you can see it on the eye, you can see the bitrate of the file is 600 kilobytes per second, which is insane. Unlike uh, AAC M MP3 files, which are 320 kilobytes per second at most. Now, uh, you can also do many things on this app. There is an equalizer, you can change the settings uh, for your music to your liking. Uh, the default uh, is okay for basic usage uh, and to enjoy your music. And that's it. That's how you transfer FLAC from your computer to your device. Again, the app is called TuneShell. You can find it on the App Store. It's free. Uh, it has ads, but you can play like six bucks and it's all yours uh, to enjoy the music. Um, that's it. Thank you for entering my channel and for watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you rate and uh, subscribe and comment on this video. If you have any questions, I would uh, gladly answer them. Uh, so feel free to ask anything you wish. Uh, again, thank you for entering my channel. Take care and see you in the next video.